Hello, Sebastian Lucido. Welcome to 5-Minute Fresh Start. I'm in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14. It says, Do not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. A yoke is an instrument that you, when you see a, a set of animals, they're, they're yoked together when they plow a field. They're side by side. The yoke is the thing that attaches them to each other. So it's telling us not to attach ourselves or yoke ourselves with unbelievers. For what fellowship has righteousness with lawlessness? What communion has light with darkness? What accord has Christ with Belial? What part has a believer with unbeliever? And what agreement has the temple of God with idols? For you are the temple of the living God. As God has said, I will dwell in them. I will walk among them. I will be their God. They shall be my people. Therefore, come out from among them. Be separate, says the Lord. Do not touch the unclean and I will receive you. I will be a father to you. You shall be my sons and my daughters, says the Lord Almighty. Now, this is, uh, I, I, you know, this is, first of all, it's very, very good advice. But when you understand Christianity, and when you understand the teachings of Jesus, we're not to love the world or the things in the world. We have a completely different way of, of living. Our kingdom becomes the kingdom of God. We're to seek that kingdom. We're not to seek the world or things in the world. And so yoking ourselves or coming in partnership with an unbeliever, the Bible tells us, and it, and it says it many times, I mean, it's probably four times here, not to yoke ourselves with unbelievers or darkness or unrighteousness or lawlessness. You know, and the Bible tells us that God is going to walk with us. He's going to be in us. We're going to be his people, but we have to separate from the world. You know, so people have asked me through my, you know, Christian history, what, what does that mean? Well, first of all, if you're not married, do not marry an unbeliever. Do not marry an unrighteous person, a person that needs salvation. I mean, unless you hear from God, don't do it. It's the same thing in the business world. You know, when you join the kingdom of God, you're bought with a price. You don't own your assets. Jesus does. So when you yoke yourself together with an unbeliever, you're bringing an unbeliever into that partnership. What happens if God wants you to sell everything or God wants you to give something away and you have a partner that doesn't think the same way? You know, it hinders you from walking in pure obedience. And so when you look at what the word is saying here, we have to be careful on who we partner with in life. We have to be very, very careful on what we do with our time, our resources, and our energy. We need to understand that we don't belong to ourselves. Even our time is not our own. You know, and when you look at the scripture, the lukewarm Christian was vomited out of Jesus' mouth. Why? He was compromised. He, 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 he felt he didn't need anybody. He felt he had made it in this world he could coast. The, the person that had barns and needed to build a bigger barn wasn't rich toward God. God took a burn to it. You know, others were invited to a dinner and they didn't have time because they bought land, they got married, they, you know, they bought oxen. In every case, the people were compromised to do the will of God because of worldly things. Yoking ourselves to someone in business, in any relationship, we actually compromise our relationship with God. We need to understand that and walk in, in the light of that. You know, and so we see the world through the Bible. We see the world. God could tell you to sell all that you have, pick up and go somewhere else. You can't have a board meeting on that. You have to be able to do it. So anyway, that's our message for today. Please share, follow, and like this message wherever you're watching on social media or on our phone app or, or on our website. You can download our phone app. It's, it's, it's free. Go to the Apple Store and uh, to Google. And you can download those, those apps. They're free. You'll get all of our teaching. And then pray about becoming a partner for $10 a month or more. We're praying for $425 a month or more donors. Pray about becoming one of those donors and joining in the fruit of us giving away curriculums around the world. So God bless you. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.